It made me feel scared, and it made me feel like I did something wrong. An innocent 11-year-old girl is telling us her nightmare ordeal about being handcuffed at gunpoint and thrown in the back of a police cruiser. Tonight, her family wants answers, and Grand Rapids police tell us they've opened an internal investigation. 24-Hour News 8's Heather Walker is breaking this story that you'll only see on 8. Heather? Well, the incident happened on Wednesday of last week. The elementary school student named Honesty tells me she's still shaken up. I'm afraid to open or go near my back door. Why is that? Because of what happened. How did it make you feel? It made me feel scared and it made me feel like I did something wrong. Honesty Hodges is an 11 year old student at Stocking Elementary. Her mom says she stays out of trouble. She was heading to the store, leaving the back door of her home on Turner near Richmond when she was greeted by Grand Rapids police. They have police cars over on this street. They have police cars lined all the way down the alley. Honesty and her mom tell us officers told her to walk backwards with her hands up, then put her in cuffs, patted her down and put her in the back of a cop car. And the whole time they're telling her to come down, I'm telling them she's 11 years old. That's my daughter. Don't cuff her. But it didn't stop them. GRPD admits they put her in handcuffs. When my mom was walking past, I was um, putting my hands through the little bars, banging on the window, screaming, please don't let them take me. GRPD was at the home looking for the girl's aunt, Carrie Manning, who was wanted for allegedly stabbing her little sister. The family says the problem is she's a 40-year-old white woman, and this is a little black girl. Well, at first, I wanted to be a detective. A uh, no, a uh, police officer, but now I don't want anything to do with those kind of things. What do you want to tell Grand Rapids Police? I don't know. I was just wondering why they did that to me. GRPD says an internal investigation sparked by concern from the family was started the day after that incident. GRPD will not comment any further about the way the 11 year old was handled until that investigation is complete. Sue. Okay, you can see she's still very scared, Heather. Thank you for the live report.